Good evening. I want to welcome you to um, for our first of four Music in Our Schools Month concerts for a very great evening of some choral music. Um, my name is Gabe Cohen. I'm the Performing Arts Director for the school district. I'm also one of the music teachers at the high school. I um, just want to have a few announcements for you, and then we're going to get underway making some music. Um, as always, we need to just draw your attention to our emergency exits. You can see where they are around the room. Um, we have some very dedicated ushers that work our volunteer with the Capitol Center, and they will take care of us if there is any emergency. Um, I want to take a minute and thank the Walker Lecture Series. They again are sponsoring us tonight. Um, without them, we would not be able to um, hold these concerts. Um, helps helps to pay our bills. It's very good. Um, just another quick reminder: we have concert Monday for band. We have a concert on Tuesday for orchestra, and then the following Tuesday, the 28th. All of our chamber groups and jazz bands will be performing at Runland Middle School. Um, I want to thank um, FOPA, our Friends of Performing Arts, our Parent Booster Club. You will hear more from them this evening. Um, I want to also make sure to thank um, the graphic arts teacher at um, the CRTC and at the high school, Tom McGovern. He is the person that designed that wonderful program that you guys are looking at. So um, if you get to see him, make sure you give him a special round of applause. Um, Concord Community TV or CCTV, they are recording tonight's concert. Um, we will be sending a link out this week, maybe by tomorrow. It depends on how long it takes for them to render. If not by tomorrow, then definitely by Monday. Um, you'll get your chance, I promise, in like 30 seconds. Okay? Um, I do want to ask you, though, to not record while students are performing. It is very distracting for them. There's a link coming out. You can take right from YouTube as it comes, but the earphones are just distracting to um, students who are performing. And then finally, I want to thank Steve Martin um, and all of the uh, all of the Capital Center staff. Um, they make a, a wonderful evening for us here at this wonderful theater. So let's give them a round of applause before I get out. And I'm going to now turn the program over to Mrs. Kathleen Aller, who is the middle school choir. It's a neat, neat thing to be a part of that journey. Uh, and as we uh, bring this concert back to life after COVID, uh, I hope you'll get to, to see that develop year by year as you watch your students go through the formal program. It's a really neat thing to watch them grow. Uh, it's kind of a, a benchmark every year uh, to see where, where they fall in that, in that program. Tonight, you're going to hear uh, a whole bunch of different music. This is the concert I asked them to push their comfort zone. So I asked them to choose music that's outside of their normal cultural view. So they try to pick songs from other cultures. Sometimes it's still an American culture. Uh, we are singing a number of American folk songs uh, that are classified as spirituals, uh, but they are still outside of their normal view of life. Um, each grade level from Runlet will be performing a spiritual tonight. Uh, the sixth graders are gonna open the concert with one called Shut the Dope. Uh, spirituals, originally started in the time of slavery, uh, and they came out as a way of people to bond, to share their struggles, and also to share their celebrations, because even when life's hard, we still find a way to celebrate. It's part of what makes us human. Uh, this first one is one of those celebration songs, uh, Shut the Dope, and it's, it ends one of its big catchphrases, every little thing is gonna be all right. So kind of the akuma matata of, uh, of spirituals. And then they will be following that with a song called Sisi Moja, uh, which has a phrase in Swahili. Uh, I know my 
current, my former middle schoolers uh, already know that, so they're gonna be mouthing the words from over there, and that's okay. Uh, the phrase in Swahili means we are one. I do have to apologize to anyone who's uh, fluent in Swahili. The last time we performed it, we actually pronounced it wrong. It is moja and not moya, so apologies to my current ninth graders um, and to anyone who heard us last time. Uh, they are doing it correctly this time. We learned. When we know better, we do better, right? So without further ado, I present to you the Rutland Middle School 6th grade chorus. Thank you. 
Lead in the Water is one of the most well-known spirituals for good reason. There's a very rich history to all the spirituals. This one in particular uh, was used, they, they say they can't prove, as with all things in the Underground Railroad, uh, they, it was secret for a reason. Uh, but they believe Wade in the Water was one of the songs uh, used to direct people on how to escape to the Underground Railroad. Uh, and so it's been fun to delve into that, some of that history with the students as they figure out what they're singing and how it all comes together and learn a little bit more about uh, our history and the music that was created by the people in the past and the things that they experienced. Music is one of those amazing things that pulls us together as human beings, helps us relate to each other through our, our sorrows, our happiness, and everything in between is one of the things that helps us find a common ground. So that's our, been our focus in this concert performance cycle, and we're happy to present that to you today. So here we go. I am Dana. Thank you. 
last part for Brenda. Uh, so we all come back to one fun dancing number at the end. So fun. We have the eighth grade chorus. Hardly their eighth grade, and this will be the first time they're part of the district concert. We all had a rather unexpected last few years. But we made it, we made it back, uh, and I'm excited for what they're going to show you tonight. They're going to be doing two songs for you tonight. The first one is called Cantate Domino. Uh, it is based on a Latin text uh, from what would have been a mass many, many, many years ago. Um, and the second one is Nobody Turn Me Around, which is their spiritual. Theirs is probably the most modern adaptation of spiritual. Uh, the original spiritual was uh, Don't Let Nobody Turn You Around. And then in the 1960s, during the Civil Rights Movement, the song was adapted to Ain't Gonna Let Nobody Turn Me Around, uh, as to turn into a song of, of determination in the face of struggle, in the face of hardships, uh, to, to keep them going, to keep them pursuing civil rights. Uh, it fits this crew really well. If you don't know these kids, they're a really determined bunch of kids. That's been a really a pleasure to work with and to know over the past three years. Uh, so this really, I told them this, and I think mostly they agree with me. This is their song, uh, so I'm really excited for them to share that with you. Uh, you'll see how well it works with them. Uh, and that will feature Juliana Johnson.
that are in that giant style that are recent. Um, this next piece is called Bring Me Little Water Sylvie. We have some chairs for some body percussionists. And we also, um, I'm very lucky to get to work with such wonderful colleagues. And some of those are going to be um, coming on stage right now. So Dr. Barker is going to be playing the bass. Um, Mr. Cohen and Mrs. Moulton, who's our student teacher, are going to be playing some percussion, along with Keith Michael, who's not in the program, but it's very important. Um, so they're going to be joining us, and then Ms. Batty, who was here while I was a maternity leader, is here to play some piano, which we are very grateful for.
grades 6 through grades 12, and we haven't done this since March of 2020. So I'm, I'm really excited to do this. The cool thing about this, and the scary thing, is we've never rehearsed this together before. Um, the high schoolers, some of them came down to rehearse with the sixth graders, and that's the only rehearsal we've had together. So this will be an adventure, and it will be the most exciting live music for them. Um, this piece is uh, in the Indian style, but all the words in this are like nonsense words. They're onomatopoeias. So they're meant to mimic the sound of an Indian drum, I think the top line. Um, so you can kind of hear some syllables, but they don't mean anything. They're just to represent different sounds. How are we doing with that? Like?